Well, I'm hoping for the boxing voice. I'm delighted to be speaking to Johnny Nelson for the first time. How are you, Johnny? I'm alright, thank you very much. First time for everything. Absolutely. One of my childhood uh, heroes. That's right, made me feel old. Off the back of um, <laughs> Nazi's success. Yeah. yeah, made me feel old. Cool, yeah. go on, go on. Yeah, kick me in the balls, man. Around. Go on, kick them all. <laughs> um, yeah, so, great event tomorrow. Boxer have had a good three weeks in a row now, tumultuous events, electrifying atmosphere. Josh Tanner's going to bring that again tomorrow? Yes, he will. Uh, what a chance to do this at home as well. This might be his last fight at 140, mm -hmm. um, especially seeing him on the scales, he looked really tight at it. Uh, but it'll be good, it'll be good. Um, it's a great crowd there, and just for the weigh-in itself. <coughs> Jack Catchwell is no pushover, so again, I think they're going to have get the money's worth. Absolutely. England v Scotland. It's always a good needle match. I understand, but, they, but people don't realise Taylor actually trains in England a lot of the time. He's brought a lot of, a lot of English fans over. Uh, but it's that little rivalry to, uh, to say you've got two unbeaten fighters that really believe they are the best. One believes he's been hard done to, one believes he is the best in the world, which is great ingredients for a good fight. Mm -hmm. Well, I spoke to Adam last well, at, at the press conference. We did agree that for what Josh Taylor's achieved. It's gone under the radar. He should be a household name. It's tomorrow yeah, night. Start of I, I, no, but I think, no, I'll tell you what, I think it starts when um, when he steps up away to 147 mm -hmm. and the likes of Crawford from people like that. And then, then people all over the world will actually sit up and pay attention to this guy that's achieved so much at, at 140. Um, so um, I think that's where it is because, again, you, to, to, to see what he's achieved and people actually don't. He doesn't get the recognition he deserves, mm -hmm. then it, it, there's something not right. So maybe he's not had the superstars that he needs to fight. Maybe he's not been in those fights where that, that get people talking about him, respecting him. You know, and so if he steps up, that's the, that's the division because at Welterweight there's some good fights to be had. Absolutely. But the queue for fighting for world, Worldweight titles, it's long. Think well, he's in a great position. Look, he's got WBC, WBA, IBF, WBO titles to step up, I think he jump leap for everybody to, to get in a position to get an instant fight. Mm -hmm. I mean, Bob Arum has mentioned that he could do a stadium fight against Crawford. Of course, and, 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 and top ranked sent a 30 strong team over for this fight this weekend. They don't stand up for anybody, somebody that they don't think is going to do anything or they've not got a plan for that somebody. <coughs> you can see the plan, uh, so Taylor's just got to win. Think he's gonna knock Catchwell out? It's gonna be a tough fight. Be a tough, tough fight. If he knocks him out, it's gonna be a late stoppage. Okay, so I think Jack Catchwell's going under the radar a bit. Yeah, he is. He is 26 fights. He's the younger fighter of the two. Um, um, he's he's, uh, he's he's just an unknown entity. So you've got to be, be just be careful. Just don't write him off. Mm -hmm. The fight that's really captured the imagination: the heavyweight, the Scottish heavyweight title fight. I've been telling anyone who listened that I made that fight. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Ben Shalom would admit it, but when he put the message out on social media, it was me that replied that get Nick Campbell against Jay for the Scottish heavyweight title. But um, he's a character. He is. He's, he's been full of beans yesterday and today on all week. Um, and so again, I just think Campbell's had four fights. Um, um, his opponent's had 17, 112. He's been 10 rounds once, he's been 6 rounds numerous amount of times. This is an 8 round fight. What will Campbell be like over a bigger distance? Uh, and he's up against an opponent. There's got a bit of movement about him, a bit of character about him. So if there's going to be an upset tomorrow night, it's going to be that one. I was talking to Jay just earlier about this, and we saw over in Cardiff Steve USSR Robinson get upset by. Another heavyweight who's not exactly body beautiful, and he agreed that actually at heavyweight, being this magnificent Adonis doesn't actually serve any purpose. Doesn't help. Doesn't actually help. Mm -hmm. You know, there's only one that that's been that successful. And that's Anthony Joshua. Mm -hmm. uh, it does not help because you could go to the other scale and look at Tyson Fury. You know, he's he hasn't got the greatest body in the world, but he's a, a great boxer. It's disrespectful almost to Jay because he is a near 20 pro, 25 pro. Not just dis disrespectful, it's his body. <laughs> you know, he's no, what I mean is in that Nick is the. Yeah, favorite. that's what that's what I'm saying. So sometimes, you know, you've, you've got it. I, to me, I looked at it, I thought, I 
think they might have, might have dropped one here. They might have made a mistake. So again, is it an upset? Is it really an upset? You don't Four know. Fight novice getting beaten by a twenty fight pro. Yeah. So, I mean, Jay's confident he's going to knock him out. So, uh, well, if he goes for the knockout, then he'll get the knockout because just because Campbell's there to be hit. Mm -hmm. uh, give him space to breathe. We don't box your head off and knock you out. He's knocked all his four opponents out. So, uh, so if you go in there with that intention, you really believe you can do it. Then, then we've got a fight on our hands. Yeah. I mean, part of me wants Jay to win because. I mean, what a character. I he's mean, a character, he's a character, he's a character, he is a character and that's why I do, I do like, I like characters getting the opportunity and getting in there because the story to follow, Campbell's is quiet, he's, he's respectful, he's, and it's nice to see, uh, but you want characters, you want to be loved or hated, you, you, you want it to be like pantomime, and that's what he's done, he's been verbally sensitive in his language used. Uh, he's been colourful, he's, he's been loud, so some people love him, some people, real people are loving. But, we're talking about him. That's the fight everybody's been talking about all week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I know what, obviously the tattoos and, you know, the image and, and all of that mm -hmm. does capture the imagination and he can talk, so... Yeah, could be a good fight, I'm looking forward to it. I think tomorrow's going to be a great card for here in Scotland. Just want to uh, get a few brief thoughts about last week. Somewhat sad end for prob probably a sad end for Amir Khan, great servant to the sport. Someone has to lose. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, two fighters that have done so much for our, our sport and, and being so talented, a fight that should have taken place years ago. <coughs> um, uh, he knew what he was walking into, and that's probably it. Now makes one think. Would you have been successful if you boxed Kelly earlier? Mm -hmm. You know, and um, and because you know everything was that was said and done, Kelly backed up his boats. And so uh, for Amir Khan, um, I hope he does walk away. And I've done. Um, I'm hearing him talking about invoking the um, the the rematch clause. I hope he doesn't. I hope he doesn't. Let's just uh, let things. Happen. Um, and, and even for Kel, Kel won. I hope he packs it. You know, you've got two fighters that have given so much to the sport, achieved so much. Let's remember it for how it is. And, uh, and the loser lost, the winner won. I'm done. The story's over. I mean, I know in the build up there was a lot of talk there, putting the whole legacy on the line. That, that's just sales talk, though, isn't it? When oh, you look really? At because you and I mm -hmm. will know what both fighters have achieved. Mm -hmm. The general public, the people that made the numbers of that sold it, and made it in a box office. You know, they're, they're the ones that looked at this fight of these two guys that didn't like each other. They want to see who won and lost. Now, now you, now, now most, the, the majority of people will remember that fight, Amir Khan for that fight. Remember Kel Brook for that fight. Forgetting the amazing fights they'd had before. So, boxing purists will get it, say, yeah, he was really good in his day. I did not. Fans, the, the, the casual fans, that's what they'll remember. <laughs> but you'd agree that in terms of the, the fight trade, much like we don't remember Mike Tyson getting knocked out the last year, we oh, remember yeah. the 20 year old. Yeah. And, but the youngsters, the youngsters remember Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield for getting knocked out. The youngsters. Mm -hmm. So the youngsters that are coming through now, you know, that, that's what you're looking at there. Like, it's frustrating because you think, God, you know, you've got respect to Van Holyfield, this guy was a badass, but he got not, he was getting beat up towards him. Mm -hmm. So so you and I, at our age, will we understand that. But the youngsters, the new breed coming through, that's what they remember Carl Brook for, that's what they remember um, um, Amir Khan for. You know, you've got the young books like uh, Connor Ben and Eubank calling these boys out. And you think, in their day, you're bad. But they, they, it's at that stage now where the youngsters are looking at them very differently. Do you think five years from now, presuming Amir does a sensible thing in the time, when you get into the Hall of Fame? Um, I don't know. Could be nominated for it, but then again, that's what I'm saying. This trill this this situation with with Kel Brook and the fight that never happened. You know, now people are thinking, wow, you know, Kel Brook jumped, Brook, Brook, Kel Brook jumped through rings to get this fight with you, and he's been doing it for years. And he kept putting it off and putting it off, and when it's finally happened, they beat you. So, can we really say you're as good as what you were when you avoided somebody for so long? In the Hall of Fame, though, it's it's more. Boxing fraternity, that yeah. I, I, I listen, I hear what you're saying, I hear what you're saying, but these questions are going to be raised. Mm -hmm. You know, these questions, these arguments are going to be had. You know, these are debates are going to be had, um, or being had. 
uh, Amir achieved so, so much. He became a star in America more than he did here. Um, that's where he made his, made his real money. That's where the demand for him was. And he, he, was, he was willing to make that commitment and move lock, stock and barrel. Business-wide, he's done, he's done great business. Regardless of if he boxed Cal, not boxed Cal, it was a calculated decision, but he, um, he's, he's done good business. Mm -hmm. And I'm your friend Kel, great room for him, he's Brilliant. delighted, as is always the case with fighters, they very rarely go out when they're on the high, they think they've got one more, if he's going to have one more, who would you rather see him fight, let's talk of Eubank and Ben. I'd say Conor Ben, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's too big a step to step up and fight him, but I, I just, <coughs> I, listen it might happen, it's just my personal opinion, I don't think he should. Mm -hmm. But it's my personal opinion. Do you think if it's at a weight, like 150, 152, do you think he'd beat Ben? Um, it can beat both of them. Remember, we're talking Yukel Brook. Mm -hmm. But is, it that is he vulnerable enough for these young guys, these young guns, to, to take advantage of it? Mm -hmm. and that's the problem. That's why you see in all sports, you could be a top premiership player playing football and being that, that guy that everybody loves. And then you, your star drops. Next minute, you're playing for some low level team, and these youngsters are running rings around you. Not because they're better than you, but because they've got more energy than you, and because they've got more, more they've got the speed of youth, or, or uh, you know, that. So that's where you've got to think. Of course, this can happen, but you've got to think in their day. You know, so these guys, they've got to bring the new ones coming through. So they've got to get the old ones to hang about to fight the, the young ones. So the young ones beat them, they beat, and they become the, the, the stars. Oh, you beat such and such. Bye. Um, so that's it's just a pyramid of our sport. Here's a curveball for you. I mean, I'd love to see Kel establish greatness that he probably had the ability to do, but didn't. Wait for the Charlo Castano undisputed fight. If Charlo wins that, presumably no. he'd vacate. I, you know what I'm telling you? I, I hear what you're saying. What I'm, what I'm saying to you is it's easy to get sucked into that temptation of that million pound carrot or whatever it is and so there's so much opportunity out there for him it's ridiculous so so I'm talking like a fighter a fighter that retired as a champion a fighter that's happy with his decision to look back and think you know what I can sleep in that um, and, and so I'm, I'm giving him some advice this is what I would do I was inspired by Lennox Lewis when he did it. You know, the amount of times they said, come back and fight Vitaly, and he was like, yeah, I'm done, man, I'm sure, I've done what I've done. It doesn't matter what people say, oh, you've done your X, Y, Z. He did that. Joe Kazaki did that. You know, uh, and it's just to do that, you know, it's, it's the sweetest feeling. And I said before, I was out with Ricky Hatton the week of Cal Brooks' fight, and he was talking about uh, the Pacquiao fight. How many years ago was that? You know, and, and that's what I'm saying. So, so it's, it's it's hard to live with. It's something we got to live for the rest of your life. I know for a fact when I beat Carl Thompson, I know he still can't get over it now. Mate, he's to get to <laughs> I don't want to be that person. I, I'm, I'm not that person. So, like, you know, I'm saying to Kel, just listen to me. That's my advice. But well, that's your call. What you do. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, let's hope we both make the right decision. Yeah, yeah. Let's hope. What, so, what, what, what was best for now? Um, just lastly, spoke to Lawrence Okoli recently. He said he's aiming to be the best ever British cruiserweight with longevity. I was wondering, is that a side swipe at Richard? Uh, at, uh, Richard. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, then, my God. Well, well, exactly. Uh, you, you, yeah, was that about to get there as well? Of course, Lawrence has got to say these things, but there are fighters there, like Richard Riatpour, that he's got to get in with. I'm fine, and and if you can do it, you can do it. No side swipe, job's done. You know, of course, records are there to be broken. Um, so, and it, which can be done. Do you think Lawrence is the best? So far, he's proved he is. Yeah. So far, he's proved he is. And and it's like Tyson Fury. He's proved he is. You know, and to the point where there's nobody left. You know, Dylan White's there. Who else is left after him? Uh, and Lawrence has, Lawrence has proved it so far until he gets rid of more. <clears throat> as Ben mentioned, Lawrence v Richard, great Nigerian British derby. Yeah. Good fight, good fight. Again, it gets it, it, it mouth watering. Yeah. But you, how realistic is it for those fights to happen? Two different promotional outfits, um, uh, both different, different 
directions mm -hmm. to the same summit. Uh, so hope it can be made, but you know, let's enjoy everybody's yeah, journey. Yeah. Johnny, absolute pleasure. My pleasure, man. I'm partly starstruck. Oh, don't uh, be, oh, don't be, man. <laughs> I'm just an old man. Don't speak into the boxing voice. For the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon com backslash the boxing voice we have tons of exclusive from border wars and title betting shows the list goes on and on and on but in addition to that if you guys have questions for fighters trainers and promoters this is where you can submit them we will run out get these questions answered and put it back on the show just for you guys appreciate it peace